Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, this is Summer from Alibaba Cloud Database Product Team. Last week, uh, we introduced the basic use of Absurd DB RDS MySQL Session 1 connection. And we had a short demo to show you the details and the differences between um, connecting to uh, on-premise MySQL and RDS MySQL in command line. Today, uh, we will continue the same topic, but talk a little bit further. Let's say how to use Absurd DB RDS to help you build a LAMP application. And um, this time I will take WordPress, which is known by the majority of us, for example. First, uh, let me give you some clue about the testing environment. Uh, here's an ECS running both a BBS application and WordPress, but only on the first stage of installation. Okay, uh, this is the ECS. It's a BBS, and another one is the WordPress, okay, which is on the first stage of installation. Okay. Let me connect to the ECS. Okay, right now, um, both of the applications are running on this ECS. It's um, CentOS 7. Okay. And the uh, DB related settings files are like this. This is the DB related uh, setting files of the BBS. You can see the database account settings, including the host name, username, password, and the chart set. Okay. Also, uh, let's see the similar file uh, in WordPress. Okay. Um, Yeah, host name, uh, charts at, database name, username, password, electric. Okay. And what if uh, we had a wrong settings about the database? Let's see. I will change the database name to a wrong setting. Get it refresh. Okay, it shows that cannot select the database. And we continue to modify the fire. If you change the username. It shows that our establishing a database connection. So the connection between the application and the uh, uh, database is disconnected region. Right now, we also have our RDS running uh, on Alibaba Cloud. Uh, you can see it's Japan region. Uh, and we're going to use this RDS to be the 
um, database of our LAMP application. Okay, first, um, as usual, we need to um, create an account, a database account, and uh, set uh, allow list for the endpoint. So this is a public uh, endpoint. We're going to use this one. Uh, okay. And modify the fire. Use it as a host. Okay, we're going to remove it. This is the endpoint. And we're going to use the password and the username. Username. And also the database name. That's it. Check. Account name and the password and database name. Okay. Let's try it for a little bit. Okay, it works. Yeah, as you can see, it's very simple. So uh, don't hesitate to get your hands dirty. Next week, uh, we will introduce how to import and export data to a RDS. Well, see you next time.